Hey, it's Rick. I'm at Kennedy Space Center for the arrival of NASA's SLS rocket. That's their mega moon rocket. The core stage of SLS was loaded onto a barge in New Orleans July 16th. That was exactly 55 years after the launch of Apollo 11. And now the barge has stopped within spitting distance of the Vehicle Assembly Building here at Kennedy Space Center and will be transported inside the Vehicle Assembly Building. The SLS rocket's core stage is the largest that NASA has ever produced, 212 feet tall. Once inside the VAB, the SLS will be mated with its side boosters and the Orion spacecraft. That process is called stacking because, well, one component is stacked on top of the other. You may remember Artemis 1 was launched a couple years ago from here at the Space Center. It went around the moon and back, but without a crew on board. Well, this is Artemis 2. The goal is to launch four astronauts in the Orion spacecraft around the moon and back in a 10-day span. During that period, the crew will test the Orion spacecraft and its life support systems. The 10-day voyage starts with a series of loops around the Earth that will provide the orbital dynamics needed for the lunar flyby. So when will Artemis II fly? Well, NASA says it will be no earlier than September. I'm Rick Lansby for WFIT, public media for the Space Coast.